Yes guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have a bit of a new one for me. We have a player review of Timothy Weir. Obviously George Weir's son playing at Lille right now in the league. Um, it's the Silver Stars objective. Get into the Silver Lounge, win three games, score eight goals and assist six goals. Right, so I was a bit unsure what to do. But we'll go over his player, player stats first. And then I think we're going to get into a game of Div, Div 1 uh, rivals. And just test him out along with obviously... Uh, a decent team but he'll be the main man at top and um yeah we'll go over his stats right now he's six foot tall so pretty pretty tall striker i think much more than that is a bit like a bit over the overboard but six foot is fine and he's going to be nice and tall to win probably a few headers high medium perfect for a striker right foot obviously doesn't really matter four star skill moves is uh almost perfect and then three star weak foot is a bit like you'd want four preferably but um three you can work with it this year i think I think uh, skill moves are more important this year, in my opinion. I don't know. So, we'll see. We'll see. In terms of in-game stats, they're actually insane for a silver. We need to remind you right now that this player could go up two more ratings. So, if he does, he could be seeing some mental boosts. Already, the stats are insane for a silver. And we're going to be trying him out in Div 1. So, we're going to be seeing like just his, his true capabilities right now. And that's if Lil score five goals in six games from now then he's going to be insane. Actually, sorry, I think it's six goals in five games. I just realised I said that wrong. But yeah, in-game stats look insane. Brilliant pace. He's shooting in terms of finishing his shot power, 85. And then um, we're going to be giving him a finisher chem style, I think. Passing is a bit iffy, but, you know, he's, he's a silver. He's going to have a bit bad passing. Dribbling, though, he's got 99 agility, 84 balance. That's actually insane. For a card uh, like low rated as this that's really really good then his 85 dribbling and 80 ball control not too bad and then uh, 80 composure not bad as well for a silver and then jumping and head and accuracy are both brilliant so maybe score score a header um we'll see we'll see and 80 strength only 72 stamina might be a problem but um we'll have to we'll have to test it out in game and obviously i'll give you the verdict like i said we're going to be using in div one so we're going to use him in this team in a 4-3-1-2 hashtag harry's tactics actually and um, Kante in the middle centre mid, uh, Kimmich right, Seedorf left, and then Mbappe where up front with Neymar and at Cam. We're going to be chucking on a finisher chem style to give him upgrades in um, shooting and dribbling, as you can see here. So we'll chuck that on him. I think that'll be a pretty good upgrade. We'll see, we'll see him now. You don't have to go with this. You can go the Hunter if you want more pace. I think his pace is fine, though. But plus 14 goes up to 99 uh, finishing, 95 shot power, 86, uh, 84 attack positioning, 7, uh, 86 volleys. He'll be, he should be really, really good. Obviously, his agility is max, so can't add to that. Balance goes up to 89, and then 99 dribbling. So I think he's going to be a beast. Let's get into a Div 1 game. By the way, guys, thought I'd add this in as well. This is um, the formation for the 1 2, like I said. I'm going to leave him on absolutely default, so nothing's going to change. All right, then it looks like we found our opponent and he has a really, really nice team. Um, two midfielders in Kante and Essien. He's got an attack of Ronaldo, Eto, Neymar and Robin, And then a really meta defence. Obviously, I'm using that for Ran and Mendy. Um, and he's got Campbell. I've got Rio. He's got Kleiber. I've got Tavernier. And then he's got uh, Team of the Year, Neuer. So pretty much the best keeper in the game, I'm guessing. But Pope for me is insane. But it's not about that. It's not about anyone else but Timothy Weir. So let's go find out if he is going to be a beast in this game. Um, do rob the ball with Seedorf, that, Seedorf there. Can get this uh, into Weir. Little one, two. Neymar into Weir. Has he got the pace? He's got the ball roll. Hello. He's moved his keeper. We've gone the other way. And Timothy Weir sets us off 1-0 here, guys. It was a bit of bit of decent dribbling. Little ball roll past his defender. I saw him move the keeper. I was going to go the other way either way, like if he moved the keeper or not. But... um. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant finish from uh, Weir, and that's a, that's a lovely start. Hopefully, we can add to that now. Kante nicks the ball off uh, his Kante there. Weir, bit bit slow to make that pass. I did actually t uh, click that pass to get it away, but, you know, can't blame him. Get another, another chance. Kante with a great interception there. Mbappe, similar, to, similar position here as the last goal. Weir, can we find that? run of Neymar, nope, it's bounced back to us, where he's probably going to get a uh, boff, there he is, yeah, uh oh, uh oh, that, okay, no pen, we're alright with that, where though, here we go, 
Can we find uh, Mbappe? We can. Send it back inside. Into Weyer again. Into Neymar here. Weyer makes that run. Over the top to him. Oh, okay. Ah. That was my bad. That's nice. Mbappe. Weyer makes a 1-2 to Kimmich. Oh, no. Doesn't get the 2. Into Neymar. He finds him. Ah. Kimmich. Into Weyer. Can we get a 1-2? Neymar. Back to Weyer. Another 1-2 here. He could be in here. Might have to go into Mbappe. Ah, oh, I nearly got the assist there, but couldn't get the shot off. Seedorf. Mbappe. Can Weyer find him? He's a little bit, a little bit slow to um, play the pass. I don't know what that, what stat that would be like. If there was, there's not rea reactions, is there? Um, but yeah, you know, it's a silver at the end of the day. We just, we want to see his other stats. That's not bad. Kimmich is making that run. I do want to, yeah, a little bit, a little bit slow on the turning. That was my fault for not passing that. Not, not Wears there, but um, yeah. Not for 99 agility. I don't know actually. Hang on, he burst a pace here. Back post. Neymar's in. Ah, couldn't quite get it on the head of Neymar there, but that's that actually he did have that burst then. You could feel it. So it's nice. It's nice. Can Weir win that? He, I think he has won that. It's gone like quite far back, but we've won, won the header with Weir there. And we've kind of started a, an attack off it, but um, poor pass for me, really. It's good for Mendy. That is that is so unlucky there to concede that way, but you know it's a game. What 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 can you do? That is not a bad burst of pace. That was my fault for taking that extra big touch, but that was he, he does have the. Like when he's got the space, he has got pace. <laughs> Didn't mean to rhyme, but he definitely does. That's great from Kimmich. Right, way has got the ball. I need I need my uh, attackers to make the runs here. That's a nice ball as well. Don't know what his passing stats are, but well, like I I know they're they're not great, but that's a nice ball into Wea. Can we give it back or oh, oh, to Mbappe? Ah, that was my fault. Bang. <sighs> Not bad, not a bad try uh, from Weyer on the edge of the box. Little finesse shot. Gonna go try and chip that over Neuer. I think he's going that to Rio there. Not bad, not bad. Here we go then. Kimmich to Weyer. Back to Kimmich. That is a stunning ball. I don't care what you say here. Gonna have to just shoot. Yeah, no, I knew it wasn't going in, but I didn't have any options really. Kimmich didn't have the skill moves. But that through ball then from Weyer was perfect. Tavernier. Kante. Into George Ware, Timothy Ware, sorry. Can he chip the keeper? Oh, fit the crossbar. I, I I triggered the chip a bit too uh, too late there because I, I saw uh, Neuer got off his line and I, once I committed to the chip, I just had to do it. But um, yeah, not bad. Not a bad effort. Good first touch. I want to see his skills. I'm going to do a bib spin here now. Oh, okay. Step over feels clean. Um, I need to do a bit of a, there we go, yeah, it's, it's not the cleanest, I can't lie, and I've fully lost the ball there, that isn't the cleanest of uh, dribbling, but, you know, it's a silver at the end of the day, not going to be perfect, but it's not bad, he'll probably be one of the better silvers in the game, in my opinion, oh, Neymar's literally almost through here, there's that ball to Weir. Oh, nearly inside. Not a bad, not a bad turn, but uh, it's Varane, isn't it? There's the game over, though. 1-1, one, one, and I thoroughly enjoyed that. I did I did have a lot of fun playing with Weir up front. Here he is, his little, his goal. That's sent, absolutely sent his man with the ball roll there, and, you know, a good finish. You don't get you don't get a better finish than that, really. It's, it's past Team of the Year Neuer, and uh, it's gone in. So, overall, he's got a 7.7 uh, .7 rated. Not bad, not bad for a first uh, first game, and then uh, one one goal, uh, no assists because it was only one one, and then shots on target, two out of three. You can't ask for uh, too much more. I'm not sure if a crossbar counts as um, a shot on target. I don't know because obviously you hit the crossbar with that chip, 
16 out of 20 passes completed. Not bad for a player with really bad passing stats. Dribbles, 18 out of 27. That was probably uh, my fault, actually, because I've been obviously trying to do skills and stuff. Crosses, uh, none out of one uh, completed. But, you know, I was playing an hour of formation. I don't even remember the time I had to cross it. And then uh, tackles, none out of one. It's a striker. You're not going to expect the best defending stats. But, yeah, let's go have a quick overview of uh, Timothy Ware. Yes, guys, so... To finish up this video then, we'll have a quick look at his, uh, you know, his, obviously you only played one game, so you can make of that what you, what you want, like, is that enough games to tell you, have it like an informed decision, you decide, but I think, personally, it's worth your time, if you're, if you're contemplating, like, should I even bother playing these Silver Lounge games, honestly, I'd say it is, one, because already he's a good card, and two, because he, he'll probably get upgraded, um, if I remember, like, quite correctly, Lil are having a really good uh, season in Liga, and so I think obviously they're going to get their six goals in five games. Um, and I really do think for a silver card right now, he's already really good. You can just tell playing against Golds Varan and stuff like that, and uh, Sol Campbell. You can tell he's got he's got the he's got the ability. He's just going to get upgraded if uh, if uh, obviously Lil complete their what if challenge. So I do think it's value for time just because this silver is going to be probably one of the better silvers in the game. So, with that being said, that is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please hit a thumbs up, and yeah, if you're new, subscribe.